Hi, everybody. This is Ray, otherwise known as Life and Vibe. And I apologize for being an avatar today. I have been at my house cleaning and was not quite ready to pop on the camera, but I had seen something that I just wanted to make a quick video about and just wondering if this was a video removed by Foodie Beauty yesterday or did YouTube actually content, uh, contact her to take the video down? And so just to be real quick, just to remind everybody, Foodie Beauty released a video called Drama Stream yesterday, where she said in her video that she is an eater and she makes thousands of dollars from it. And I responded to that video in a video entitled, Disordered Eating Makes Her Thousands of Dollars a Month. So I just want to make sure I pay that, play that clip real quick. But before we get started in that, let me just put out a couple of my disclaimers real fast so I can ensure that I am following the fair use and uh, guidelines set by YouTube in order to use anybody's content. Because my video is still on YouTube it is still available to be seen. So her content is not gone. It is still there uh, on my channel if you want to take a look at what she was saying. So obviously, these are always just my opinions. This is my commentary. Even though I am a registered nurse in the United States and currently headed back to school to finish my master's in science uh, in nursing, for becoming a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. I know people always say, yeah, you talk about yourself. Well, I'm just trying to say I come here with some expertise, a little bit at least, um, especially around issues to do with mental health. And so I always want to make sure too that if you are sensitive to any types of topics around disordered eating, mental health, any of those things, uh, general health topics, please, please just, you know, click away, click away. Um, sorry, if you like to subscribe, do that too. So <laughs> I'm moving through StreamYard here. Um, but let's just take a quick listen uh, to what she said yesterday. Um, and then we'll just take a quick peek, see what I've been up to. And uh, just how being able to highlight certain things means that she loses money at the end of the day. So here we go. This is the comment that I felt was particularly um, egregious on her part yesterday. And so this is what she said, and this is what I reported yesterday to YouTube. Embarrassing. That's embarrassing. I don't care if I'm an eater. I get paid thousands of dollars a month to do it. So who cares? I don't want to go to school. I don't want to be a teacher. Okay. Okay. So as you could see from that video, she claimed that she makes thousands of dollars a month from her eating. And this is an individual that we know has very unmanaged, uncontrolled type 2 diabetes. And YouTube also has clear guidelines around disordered eating. YouTube is very lax about following their guidelines, I find, but they do have guidelines about it. Now, I'm going to bring up a page because I wanted to see kind of how my reports to YouTube had been, you know, are they actually paying any attention? I have no idea. I'm just trying to see it. And uh, so I'm going to share this tab instead. Now I used to say to myself, oh, hold on. I'm losing my connection to the audio, screen share audio. That's okay. I'm not worried about the screen share audio. <laughs> as long as my audio is coming out, I'm okay. Cause none of this has any audio now. So she had her cheesy meatloaf, tomato, rice, aroni, and barbecue butter, Brussels sprouts, home-cooked mukbang. That just came out. Um, and so I've obviously reported that as a uh, dangerous act for self-injury. And I usually remind YouTube that they have terms of services around this. Uh, and I did put out yesterday the language and verbiage that I use to report this um, type of content. So I was just kind of seeing, because I under, I know YouTube is very slow at any type of response. So I was trying to see, you know, what's going on, you know, because I've certainly made sure I've reported it as an other and as self-injury. 
and talking about how potentially her content could be triggering for those who have been in recovery from disordered eating and also normalizing her disordered eating. So there's been a number I have reported and then I suddenly saw that information about this content isn't available. And I was like, what? Which video was that? <laughs> because obviously now I have no idea. So if I hit learn more, it's probably just going to let me know that I've, you know, that YouTube looks at the content and will go and do a review. Now, I did let the audience know when I took a look at her video yesterday that I was going to report it to YouTube specifically for the part that I highlighted at the very start of this video, that she is an eater and she makes thousands of dollars a month from it. And so that I did report. And now the video is gone. That means that no money is being made from this video now, which makes me happy. I don't know if anybody who sent through her super chats or, you know, anything like that will still be available to her, but at least she will not be able to make any more money from that video. She does still continue to put out mukbang style videos and I will still continue to report those. Now, why did I start reporting things? I used to not want to report it because I felt like that was me kind of crossing a line as a creator, that I was getting myself involved in the situation. And I also thought about the people whose channels, admittedly, do make money from reacting to her. And I certainly do not want to, you know, harm anybody's source of income. So I really had to think long and hard about it. But my role as a healthcare provider became more important than my role as a YouTube creator. And so that's the stance I take now. I'm very seriously concerned about this type of content. And as much as we want to, you know, laugh at her bad behaviors and so forth, my greater concern is about those who can be affected by watching this type of content and having it normalized by this person and this person being able to continue to monetize and make money after she has received numerous health diagnoses that are related to her lifestyle choices, i.e. the food she eats, her lack of exercise, and her general lack of mobility. And so, and the fact that we know she has these uh, comorbidities and illnesses, type 2 diabetes, that she has had pulmonary embolisms, that she is on a CPAP machine, and so forth. And she has admitted openly to having depression in the past, from having, she will talk about the fact that she is a binge eater, she is treatment resistant, she refuses therapy, and so forth. So the fact that YouTube is continuing to allow her content to be seen, I think is egregious. I believe it needs to be behind a paywall or members only, but it should not be for general public viewing because we are watching somebody perform self-injury and having total disregard for her health. And YouTube is helping her promote that. And so I've got real questions around that. So I'm like, at this point, I'm like, no, my work as a healthcare uh, provider, my role going into my grad school studies, this is, is not appropriate anymore. So my stance has kind of changed. And you've probably seen that recently in the way I react and make commentary to her content. So I'm like, which video came down? Okay. Cause I remember I, you know, I've done a couple of reports over here. So I'm like, which one came down? Which one was it? So I went obviously over to her page Okay, I'll share this tab, obviously. So I went to her foodie beauty page and obviously food is life, which you don't eat food, you eat processed food products. <laughs> Little different from actually you eating real food. You don't really eat real food. So here we have, you know, look at all this content that she creates solely. I mean, she is bang, she is hard on this content at the moment, hard hard on this content. Glad this has got so few views. I'm glad. This 
is just outrageous that she's making money from this. This is outrageous. YouTube, you need to really follow your terms of service and do better. So I could see that she still had all these very triggering uh, mukbangs, and she tries to ensure that she's using language to get around the terms of service. For example, if I bring up this video, she used to always say at the end of her videos, um, I hope I make you hungry. Okay. That's what she would always say. I hope I make you hungry. So I did a search here for the word hungry. It's gone. So that tagline that she had been using is gone. Let's go back. Here you'll see if I look this up on here. Sorry, I'm trying to stop these things. I'm trying to stop YouTube from wanting to do what it wants to do. Okay. All right. If I put up the word hungry, you'll see right here. She said, hope it made you hungry. After she ate all of these subs, she's encouraging other people to have self-injury. Because this is, that's not appropriate. And she kept saying this as a, a tagline. And now she has removed that tagline. Um, she's probably watched my videos, so that's fine by me. Um, keep watching, girl. You, you add to my, uh, you help me out when you watch my content. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. And so I'm like, okay, obviously the mukbangs are here. These, these terrible mukbangs are still here. What's gone? Well, I come over here. Oh, yeah. Drama stream. Gone. So the stream she did yesterday. Adios. It's out of here. It's gone. No money being made from it. Maybe she's put it, it's, it's not even a members only, I don't think. It's gone. Maybe she put it behind the paywall. Let's take a look. Did she put it as a members only video? Let's take a look. Nope, not there either. Okay, so I am happy to report that, oh God, let's not look at these people over here, <laughs> that, uh, let me go back, that her video from the live drama stream is gone. Thank you. She now is not making any money from that video. But if you do want to see my video and help my channel, then I would suggest you go and see the one that I did around disorder eating makes her thousands of dollars a month. I would suggest you go and take a look at my video instead. Let me bring that up real fast, just so you can see which one it is. I would suggest you come over and see my video instead of her doing this type of, and my response to her video and why I found it concerning. So as I said, I don't know if it's been taken down by Foodie or was it requested to be taken down by YouTube? I'm not sure. I don't know if she then realizes if she leaves that up, it could open her up for further problems with YouTube. But obviously we still have the receipts here that she has said this content. So it's not gone away. It's still here, Foodie, and it's on my channel. So anyway, just wanted to report that real quick. Let's just keep putting this focus on her. Let's keep her from trying to harm other vulnerable people in, who watch and come across these platforms. There are people that still think that having mukbang content is something to go for. And that's fine if you were sitting down and having a nice normal meal with normal portion sizes. But when you come onto a platform and you're eating food from large platters, you are eating food with large utensils, that is not normal. And you talking about your struggles with binge eating and then you're doing constant mukbangs and being treatment resistant for therapy or any type of inpatient that could improve your health is not only negligent on the part of YouTube to continue allow uh, economics over ethics, and obviously this individual who has very little regard for anybody at all. But anyway, I just wanted to say that. Um, so I apologize for having to avatar myself today. I just wasn't ready to go live. And I really felt this was an important message to share with the girl world community. So well done, girl world. We hit Chantel's pocket today. So congratulations. I love it. I absolutely love it. 
If you do like this type of content, please subscribe. I've actually reached over 3,100 subs and I'm excited to keep trying to talk about how social media can influence people, um, especially um, with regard to their mental health. And as always, I really want to thank my members uh, who have joined the Life and Vibe community, who have given me support in order for me to continue doing this type of work. It's very encouraging when I get so many comments saying that they people have really appreciated the new stance that I'm taking in regards to Chantel. Hope everybody's keeping well. Wash your hands and be safe. And oh, I oh, and subscribe. <laughs> I keep hitting the subscribe. I meant to play out the theme music. All right, time for theme music. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.